Okay, um, in this video, we want to take the derivatives of some products. And we have two functions, two or more functions, uh, multiplied together. Suppose that y is equal to one function u multiplied by a different function v, and we need to find dy dx. So the way it's set up is dy dx That's equal to this function here multiplied by the derivative of this function. Plus this function multiplied by the derivative of this function. And that might look a little complicated at first. It really isn't. Uh, the best way to get used to it is just work some examples with it, which we're going to do in just a minute here. Um, but we also want to point out that sort of a, a corollary of this is that if y is equal to just one function multiplied together a bunch of times, so y equals u to the n, then dy dx is, you bring the n down, and it's multiplied by u to the n minus 1 power, we're not finished yet, then this u here, we take the derivative of that, of the u dx. And we have some problems where to solve the problem we have to do both. Use this and use this formula together. We have two of them like that. We may not have time uh, in this one video to look both the problems. So let's work one of them right now. Uh, let's say that y is equal to x minus 1 cubed times x plus 2 raised to the fourth power. And we want to find dy dx. So it's this function here, keep that the same. And I'm going to multiply by the derivative of this function, plus then we're going to have this function multiply by the derivative of this one. So let's get going. Here we have x minus 1. We multiply by the derivative of this function. So we bring the 4 down times 4 times x plus 2 to the 4 minus 1 power, or that would be 3. Then times the derivative of what's inside of here, and that's just going to be dx dx, which is just 1, times the derivative of that is 0, and we have dx dx, and of course that's just 1, so you don't bother to write that down. Then we have plus this function and now it has to be multiplied by the derivative of this function. So we bring the 3 down times x minus 1 squared to the second power times the derivative of what's inside of here Again, that's just going to be 1, dx, dx. So, right here, the calculus part of the problem is over. That's dy, dx. Uh, we might be able to do a little bit of algebra with this. Let's see. Because here, um, we have this plus this. Here we have x minus 1. Here we have x minus 1. Here we have x plus 2. Here we have x plus 2. So we should be able to factor these out here. 
and here we times times four and times three. Remember the way we factor them out is we're going to take out an x minus one because that's common to both of these terms, and we're going to take out an x plus two. That's common to both of these terms. And what we do is we take the one out that's raised to the smallest power. So here we have x minus 1 cubed. Here we have x minus 1 squared. So this is to the smallest power. And then here we have x plus 2 cubed. Over here is x plus 2 to the 4. So this is the smallest power. And now on this side of the equation we have a 4 so we need a 4 in here and we have x plus 2 cubed that's here we have an x minus 1 cubed here we have all, an x minus 1 squared so this has to be 4 times x minus 1 so we multiply this times this it gives us that plus over here we have a 3 and let's see we have an x minus 1 squared that's here we have an x plus 2 to the 4 here we have x plus 2 cubed so this is times x plus 2 and let's see this will be equal to x minus 1 squared times x plus 2 cubed and what are we going to have from here 4x plus 3x that is 7x minus 4 plus 6 that would be plus 2 and there is our dy dx So that's it, the problem is over. And once we did this first step right here, the calculus part of the problem was finished. Here and out, we just did some algebra to transform this expression into this expression here. We'll kind of nicify it a little bit. Uh, but that's our dy dx. And it looks like a rather complicated expression, and it is, but again, we just kind of do it step by step. It's this function multiplied by this derivative, which is right here, plus this function multiplied by this derivative, which is right here. The calculus part of the problem is finished. Then I realized that we could do some factoring out. So we got this, which, with no problem at all, got us to this step. Um, okay, that's it for this problem. We have another problem that uh, is of the same form here that might take a little bit more work than this one did. And we may not have enough time in this video to complete that problem. So come back, join us in the next video, and we'll do another problem here of taking derivatives of products.